Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and these are two great snowboards. Uh, this is the Process Flying V, and this is the uh, Burton uh, Free Thinker snowboard. Uh, both kind of are pretty close to that all mountain category. Uh, Burton says this one's a little bit more towards the, the kind of free riding section, uh, and this one's a little bit more towards the park section. But I'm going to walk through both of these boards, their specs, how they feel, how they ride, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll know which board is better. Uh, for you. Now just to start out, uh, uh, like just boldly say, the Process Flying V is a loose soft board. It's a twin shape, but has a slightly set back stance. And the Freethinker is a aggressive true twin board with a centered stance. This has loads of energy. It's very precise. This one's a little bit more loose in feeling. Just so as I kind of walk through these things, even though there's a couple of similarities, uh, keep that in mind. This is going to feel a lot more loose and playful. This one is going to be a little bit more precise. Again, uh, both are twin style shaped boards, but the difference between them is where their stances are located. The, the Freethinker board um, has a centered stance. You can ride it this way or this way on the reference alignment, and it's going to feel the same. The nose and the tail flex the same, it's just going to feel the same. That's pretty much the truth with the, the Burton Process Flying V. It has a twin style shape, but the stance is set back 12.5 millimeters. That's just a little bit, but if you want it to be a true twin board, just move the bindings up just 12.5 millimeters, which is actually really not that much. And I think that's why Burton kind of rates the Process Flying V as a little bit more of a kind of free riding board than a freestyle board, even though you see riders like Mark McMorris riding the process uh, in the parks on some gigantic jumps. Um, and then of course is the profile shapes. That's a huge difference and that's what uh, kind of gives each board its main personality. The Freethinker has what's called camber. It's a, it's a big arc basically. Um, it has really grippy contact points that can kind of be catchy when you're riding groomers, but with that arcing camber shape comes a lot of quick edge dead response, lots of loads of pop and ollie, um, and of course stability at high speeds, uh, and that combined with the additional laminates makes this a very kind of torsiony rigid style board. Whereas the process, Flying V, as you see, kind of has like a, a little rocker to it. Um, there's reverse camber rocker between the feet, camber underneath each foot, and then rocker on the nose and the tail. Now those rockered sections give the board a loose kind of surfy feel, especially when you're tracking flat and straight. Um, and then in, in addition to that, it's kind of fun too because they lift up, the rockered section lift up the contact points. So when you're in the park and you want to do a nose press, it kind of automatically lifts up your tail. And when you're riding deeper snow, you have a little bit more weight on your back foot, it kind of automatically lifts up your nose. But again, this is going to feel a lot more loose. It's not going to be as catchy on those contact points. The feel and flex rating of the boards are going to definitely be different. I put this thing about a, uh, about a four. It does have a twin style flex. The nose and the tail are going to feel the exact same um, in regards to the flex. Um, and then of course, uh, this one's going to be about a six on that flex rating scale, a little bit stiffer than your average board, especially torsionally. Again, uh, both boards feature the same um, core and uh, squeeze box profiling. That means that uh, there's a, a Superfly 2 dual zone EGD wood core. Uh, the wood grains near the edges run perpendicular to the edge, and there's squeeze box core profiling that gives uh, a thicker section of the core on the medial lateral sides of where the bindings rest, they give a better energy transfer right to the edge. Both boards have that, but then there's the big differences when it comes to the fiberglass and laminates. This one has a lot more going on. Uh, the Freethinker on the top of that wood core has a stitch 45 and negative 45 degree fiberglass with a union directional fiberglass on top of that, that runs tip to tail. On the bottom of the wood core, closest to the core, is again that 45 and negative 45 stitched glass and then a unidirectional carbon sheet that runs the full length of the board. This is a very rigid style board. Uh, it has a lot of stability. Again, combining that with uh, uh, the camber profile, it's gonna be very explosive and has lots of energy. Whereas the process, even though that it does have uh, a triax style fiberglass that's stitched 45 and negative 45 with zero degree, like all together on both the top and the bottom of the wood core, even though it is torsionally more rigid than what you'll find in some Biax fiberglass style boards, it's not going to be as torsionally rigid as what you'll find 
uh, in the Free Thinker. Uh, both boards feature centered bases. This one is just a classic center, whereas the Free Thinker features a little bit more upgraded centered WFO base. And both boards have a radio style side cut with frostbite edges that help to grip on firm snow. Um, Again, both are great. The price points are you know, pretty different too. Um, but overall, if you want like a, a surfy kind of fun ride, if you tend to ride maybe more POW and you like going in the parks and riding maybe smaller park features, uh, the Process Flying V is gonna be a really good board. It flexes a lot, a lot easier, and presses a lot easier than what you'll find in the Free Thinker. But the Free Thinker, again, if you're kind of a more of a hard charging rider, you like hitting bigger features, bigger jumps, and you like going super fast on groomers, uh, the Free Thinker is gonna be a really awesome board. Again, they're both great. They're from Burton. They feature the channel system. They have a three-year warranty, and you can check both out at thehouse.com. Hopefully, that helped uh, kind of clear up any questions you may have about either of these boards. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question. You know, let me know what you think of these boards. Uh, I know a lot of people like the Process Flying V, and I know a lot like the Free Thinker. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there, and hopefully, see you guys on snow. Peace. Yeah.